then I'm going to say something, and I'm not sure how you're going to react to it. You may be angry with me. You may want to, you know, call the station owner and have him take me off the air. Whatever you want to do is fine with me, but I'm going to tell you what I think. If we don't know who the moderate Muslims are versus the radical Muslims, then every single identifiable Muslim in the United States and every single mosque in the United States needs to be on a watch list. Every Muslim and every mosque needs to be on a watch list. Am I saying that we need to uh, take up arms against them? Absolutely not. I would never say that. Am I saying we need to uh, you know, build a wall around that? I'm not saying that either. But I'm saying if we know what we know, how foolish we would be not to keep an eye on something that could potentially be dangerous or take someone's life. Do you follow me? Do you follow where I'm going with this? If, in fact, you can't tell, nor can I, or anyone else for that matter, what's in the heart and mind of someone with uh, I don't view Islam as a religion. I view it as a cult. People come to it through fear and intimidation. They're kept in it through fear, intimidation, and peer pressure. Um, and I believe they're God to be a false God. That's just my opinion. I've read their holy book, the Koran, actually through once, and then I refer to it for reference quite a bit. It is, it's, it's a, it's a so-called religion that's never had a reformation. Their God rewards them if uh, they kill the infidel, the Jew, the homosexual, whomever. Now, if that's the case, in a, if I've got ten Muslims in a room, and I don't know which one is close to being totally devout to their religion versus one that will only take certain parts of the Quran and live with that the rest of their life, if I can't tell the difference, then wouldn't it be prudent for me to keep an eye on all of them? Or better yet, better yet, simply ban them from coming to the United States. All right, we'll uh, we'll take your calls. Eight eight four ninety nine ten, eight eight four nine nine one zero. Is that too harsh? I don't think so. Not given the situation that we're looking at. Can you tell me who the moderate Muslim is? Because I can't. You know, if there were some way, and by the way, the Quran also gives and encourages um, Muslims to lie to the infidel, to give them false misgivings, to give them information that is not true, uh, basically to lie to the infidel in their fight against them. So when the Council on American uh, Islamic Relations comes out uh, and says, well, our faith would never support violence, uh, who are you talking to? I, number one, I can't believe anything you say because your God instructs you to lie to the infidel, to the Jew, so that you may overcome them in your fight for Islam. And what is the ultimate goal of Islam? What is the, the ultimate goal of Islam is the entire world is a Muslim world living under Sharia law. That's the goal. Well, if that's the goal and you can't tell the difference one from the other, then why would you not put them on a watch list? Every Muslim, every mosque, on a watch list. If it's a possibility, I mean, think about it. When your child's in school and there's a kid in school with measles or mumps or the flu or whatever, there's a slight possibility, even though your child's on the other side of the school, there's a slight possibility. What do they do? They take that child out of school. Why? So they can watch them. To make sure that the you know they're they're okay. To make sure nothing any more severe or or injurious happens at that point. You you watch them. You watch things that are potentially dangerous. That's what we do every day. Well, Rick, the government says we can't profile. I don't care what the government says, unless the government wants to put somebody with every Muslim in America, and that'd be uh, what is that 1.3 million or something. They can't tell me not to profile. I profile every day. I want to profile to make sure my my child is playing in a safe place to make sure that uh, the conditions are, are safe. You profile every single day. You just do. And, and by the way, what happened to all the feminist organizations out there? Uh, you know, what other religion treats women horribly, horribly? 
mistreats women like you wouldn't believe. What, what, other, what other religion does that? What other religion says if you leave the faith, it's okay to kill them? If, uh, if you find a homosexual, the, the prefer, preferred way to treat them is to stone them to death. I mean, you're dealing with, with a, with a cave-dwelling, knuckle-dragging, mouth-breathing uh, form of, of doctrine. Where, where is everybody? Well, I'll tell you where they are. They're all nice and safe in their politically correct little wombs. That's where they are. Nobody's going to speak out because it's not politically correct to do so. Well, I am speaking out. Do you need more beheadings in America? Is that what you want? You better speak out. You better say something. Because if you don't, they'll speak for you. And I don't think you're going to like what they have to say. 884-9910, 884-9910. I'm Rick Roberts, 99.1 FM Talk, KK.